Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Alan Wade back again with another video. A little different today. If it's your first time here, please consider subscribing if you see anything that you like and hit the thumbs up button right now before we even get started. Guys, you are here to see the difference between these two Gildan shirts. And I'm here to tell you the difference between these two Gildan shirts because I made a tragic mistake the other day and I wanna make sure that you guys are getting the right stuff and you guys don't make the same mistake that I did. Okay, so first off, when doing sublimation, we all know that the perfect type of shirts to get are 100%, 100% polyester shirts. But when we're dealing with Gildan, the brand that most people use, there are two different types of 100% polyester shirts. One of them we don't want to use, and one of them we do want to use. Actually, both of them we can use, but Let's face it, we're all going for one kind, which is the, like the t-shirt kind, right? So, this kind right here that I have in my hand, this style, so that you guys don't make the mistake I, I made, or so that you guys are getting the proper shirt, you guys might want this one, is the Gildan G460. This is the Gildan G460. If you look at it, it's kind of silky. It has like a silky effect to it. Um, and the best way I can describe it is, have you ever seen like an older guy with a gold chain walking around with like a tight type of spandexy type of shirt? Yeah, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. But this is athletic wear, like the, the silky type of spandex type of like um, middle school prom shirt type of thing. I don't know, but you guys know the kind of shirt or the effect that I'm talking about. You can just see the way that it moves and know exactly what I'm talking about. It moves kind of silky. That's the only way I can describe it. So um, this is 100% polyester also. I thought I was getting the right thing. I thought they only had one type of 100% polyester, but apparently they don't. I don't know how they do it, but I guess the fabric is woven differently or something like that. But yeah, Gildan G460. That's the 100% polyester that's really kind of silky, you know? All right, moving right along. We have the correct kind, which I have, the Gildan G460. G420 looks like a regular cotton t-shirt. Has the cotton t-shirt feel, but it's a little bit softer. It's a little bit more, best way I can describe it is it's a little bit more high-end t-shirt kind of sort of. Like you could see a cotton shirt, a Gildan regular cotton shirt, and you know, it, 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 this one feels like more of something that you would see in a retail store. All right, so it's this model is the Gildan G420, and that's the one that you want to get for that most people are using. This is also 100% polyester, but if you notice the way that it moves, it looks and it feels kind of like a traditional cotton shirt, and I didn't know that. Nobody told me that. Guys, why didn't you guys tell me this? I know some of you guys knew already, but um, I didn't even see any videos on YouTube comparing the two. So when there's a void in the YouTube space, that's where I come along and I fix it. You can see the shirts next to each other. They are very, very different in feeling, but they are both 100% polyester. Um, I don't know what they're doing, what they did to them and how they like wove them differently, but this one, the Gildan, 420 uh, feels a lot more and looks a lot more um, like a traditional t-shirt, but the transfers come out super, super great. And these, are the, those are the ones that you wanna buy. All right, so give this video a thumbs up and like it if uh, you found that information useful. I got one more surprise for you guys. Um, I bought some sock jigs. These sock jigs I bought from um, Etsy um, and they smell very interesting. They're like a board type of material and I like them a lot. I can't wait to use them, but um, they feel good. Um, I, I don't quite, I've seen this material used on something before, but I can't quite put my finger on it. You guys can tell me exactly what it is. 
You know what it is? All right, you know your mom's old bookcase? The backing to your mom's old bookcase. That's where I've seen this before. This is like the backing to a, to a bookcase or like a or like a dresser drawer, the backing, the back of it. This is what that is. It's that thin type of wood, compressed wood, but they don't make it like this anymore. They use the really, really thinner stuff right these days. But this is that stuff right here. This is quality, quality sock jig right here. Um, looks good, feels good. I know it's gonna last a long time. Um, I, I think it's great. Uh, you can write on it, put some measurements on there for the different types, the different lengths of socks. Um, it stretches it out um, just the right amount to get all the ink inside of the crevices of the socks. Check this out next to my old sock jigs. These are the ones that I made. These are the ones that I did my first sublimation. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. On, um, and I mean, they work. They work, they did the job, you know, but when you compare this to this, it's kind of no comparison. So you guys kind of want to get the real thing when you're getting this stuff and um, it works very, very well, looks very good. And I can't, I can't, I really can't complain about them. Um, yeah, so you guys can, this, these are the ones that you want to look for, I guess. What do you call this material? Down in the comments below, what do you call this material? Plyboard? Yeah, I think that's what they're called. But anyway, back to the shirts. So, I bought close to $300 worth of the wrong shirts. These are, like I said, the silky type 100% um, polyester ones. I'm still gonna use them, make some athletic apparel. Um, the Gildan G460s, almost $300 worth of, of these shirts. I'm not gonna send them back because I can use them, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something athletic with them. We'll figure it out, I don't know. But today I had to double back and order the right ones because these are the ones that we're gonna use for our merch. The Gildan for the Gildan G420s, that's the style, Gildan G420s, all right? Um, performance 100% polyester, Gildan G420s. Those are the ones that you want to order, guys. So now, yeah, I just ordered like $350 worth of these shirts. So that's going to come in the mail soon. And the reason why I made this video is so that you guys will not make the same mistake that I did and order the wrong types of shirts, guys. You can clearly see the difference between the two. Each serves a purpose. Um, we are going to make a video sublimating on the Gildan G460s because I'm interested interested to see how um, the sublimation takes to it and I'm interested to see in if it will take a full 60 second press. I think it will because we lay down the, uh, the butcher paper on top of it so that should kind of like dissipate some of the heat but it just seems like the material is so silky that it might get burnt so I'm interested to see how it's gonna handle it. If you guys know, if you guys have ever used this stuff, please let me know in the comments below what you think is gonna happen. But look, you can just see how silky it is by how it like just falls off my, rolls off my off my fingers, off my hands here. It's just very, very silky, like, um, like a silk net or something like that. But yeah, you don't want those. You want these. Model style Gildan G420. All right, just ordered a bunch of these, so stay tuned for that. Stay tuned, because next video is coming up. Probably gonna do another sublimation shirt, and then we're gonna go back into the Cameo. Still gotta test out that um, heat transfer warehouse, sparkle vinyl, some heat transfer warehouse, um, I forgot the type. I got a bunch of heat transfer warehouse vinyls that we gotta try out that I gotta show you guys, because I, I did the unboxing of the um, bunch of vinyls that I ordered, but we never really got into it. You guys know why, because of work, but we're gonna get into all that stuff. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys are subscribed. If you're not subscribed already, give this video a like if it's something that you liked and make sure you subscribe to all my social medias. Uh, follow me on all my social medias, instagram.com backslash Productions. Also guys, I have a second YouTube channel, 
youtube.com backslash Alan Wade. Make sure you subscribe to that channel and also make sure you subscribe to the channel youtube.com backslash Philadelphia Public League Sports. Being as though this whole COVID-19 thing is going on, I need 40 people, 40 people to subscribe to that channel. Um, reason being is because when sports starts back up for the high school kids, I want to go ahead and offer my services and stream their sporting events so that everybody can still see them and those kids can get the proper exposure that they need. So um, I need 100 subscribers to that channel so it enables the streaming capabilities of that channel. So if 40 of you can find it in, find it in your heart to go over to youtube.com backslash Philadelphia Public League Sports. It's also in the corner. If you're on my main channel, you could see it in the corner. You'll see my, you see my second channel and you'll see the Philadelphia Public League Sports icon. You can click on that and subscribe to, just subscribe to both of them. And I greatly appreciate it, guys. It'll help me out a lot. It'll help the kids out a lot. And it'll, you know, help you guys see the kids perform. Football, basketball, um, all the sports. I want Ultimately, I want to stream all the sports. And I want to kind of like create a way that the um, sports can 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 do more than just um i want to i want to make it so that because the philadelphia public public school system i think all school systems are able to fully fund themselves if we would take advantage of the sports so i'm experimenting and figuring out a few things so make sure you guys subscribe to that channel and help me out guys so that's it for today i'll talk to you guys on the next video hope you guys enjoyed it it's your boy alan wade talk to you later peace It up. Why listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby?